Racism, that militarism, are not the solutions to the world's major problems. Transnational capitalism and the repressive neoliberal policies of structural adjustment represent a dead end for the developing world. We can only end the threat of terror by addressing constructively the routine violence of poverty, hunger, and exploitation that characterizes the daily existence for billions of people on this planet. Given that there is one empire, given that this is an extremely powerful empire, given that in hun there are 189 member states of the United Nations, and in 100 of these states there is a US military presence. This is after the official Cold War is over, when there are no more states who are seen as enemy states. In this situation, a lot depends on what happens to politics in the United States of America, as other speakers have mentioned. The rest of the world needs a strong and powerful resistance to the imperial adventures of contemporary America.